we kind of have a limited sense of energy and what it is. We think either I have a lot of energy or I don't have much energy and I need to go take a nap. And that's kind of our like, that's what we think about energy. But if you, this is the piece where you've got to kind of get your brain to grok it, that everything is energy. Mm -hmm. Only everything is energy. Everything around you, everything in the universe, it is energy, sound, vibration, and light. And that sound, vibration, light carries information, which we know we can understand that on a very cerebral level. Like, how does my cell phone hanging out in the middle of nothing? It's not connected to anything. And yet, if I turned it on right now, it would gather information. And if you texted me, it would come into this phone. Or if you call, how does that work? There are wavelengths of energy that are getting picked up by this device, by little um, other bits of vibrating energy that then speak to those bits of vibrating energy. That's how this works. And most of us are like, we just trust that it works. We don't really understand the physics behind it. But we work very similarly. We also are vibrating bits of energy that we have condensed into physical form through the mechanism of spin, through that yin yang symbol that you see everywhere, through the rotation of the galaxies, the rotation of the planet. Spin is what densifies atoms into matter and become us, become this mug, become the computer. Everything, if you could really look into it, is just vibrating bits of energy that have somehow densified into something that appears solid. Okay, so we've got that piece of, of knowledge and we'll, at some point our brain will understand that to be true because it's a really hard one to grok because we feel really physical and strong here. This feels like something that is not energy. It feels like a physical thing. So there's that piece. Okay, so what is the energy that gives rise to all of this? We talked about spin and every bit of matter moves in a very specific way. And our energy systems, the nine energy systems that give rise to the physical form, each of those moves in a very specific way and pattern as well. Some of these energy systems you will be very familiar with, like acupuncture. Everyone's had, not everyone, a lot of you have had acupuncture before. And that works with there are lines of energy that flow through the body, similar to roads, right? You drive down roads. Some of them are one way. Some of them are two ways. Some of them are clover leaves. Some of them have stop signs at them. So there are roads and pathways of energy through the body. Each of those pathways goes through organs, goes through organ systems and feeds energy to those and takes energy from those and distributes it throughout the whole body.